Cat on a Hot Cake Roof by Matthew Sanborn Smith. Myrna thought she was saving a bundle when she hired unlicensed contractors to do some remodeling. They were actually the opposite of contractors. They were expanders. She was saving, but probably because they themselves saved a bunch on building materials. When they were done, she walked into her house to find that the popcorn ceiling she had requested was not made of traditional plasterboard, but of actual popcorn. She climbed upon a chair to further inspect it and pulled a piece of popcorn off. She popped it in her mouth. It was perfect, full-bodied and firm, a magnificent texture, salted to perfection with just a hint of real butter. None of that artificial butter juice you get in the theaters. That, coupled with the soda fountain they installed in her garden, inspired Myrna to open her own movie theater in her house. These idiot expanders were going to make her rich. She opened with a blockbuster, The Hobbit Part 7, You're a Hard Hobbit to Break. Myrna made her first popcorn sample free, and then charged an arm and a leg for the next hit. By the end of the night, she had collected a huge pile of arms and legs. She sold half of them to the Salvation Army, and the other half to the Salvation Leggy, both of which would donate them as firewood to down on their luck popcorn-loving amputees. Once the fires got going, half the amputees were arrested for illegal possession of firearms. Luckily for the others, fire legs were still perfectly legit. Myrna was rolling in the money, and her repeat customers were rolling whether they had money or not. After their second show, they could no longer afford her popcorn, and Myrna just pushed them out into the street. Which was just as well, because she only had so much ceiling to go around. Already you could see clearly up into her attic, but Myrna turned this to her advantage and made the movie screen even bigger. When life handed her merms, she made mermaid. But alas, the good times were in decline as her patrons complained of bits of fiberglass insulation in the popcorn. Myrna lowered the price to a hand and a foot, but even that was too expensive. Her customers gave her the finger. And then they gave her the toe. Soon Myrna was out of ceiling, and the expanders and their precious popcorn were nowhere to be found. She contacted a number of other expanders and even a few contractors, but popcorn ceilings were on their way out, making way for potato chip ceilings and the ultra-modern pork rind ceilings which were so popular in the South. But you can't keep a good Myrna down. Out of desperation, she replaced her roof with one made entirely of pancake batter, and opened a breakfast place called Batter Up, in which her customers held hot plates and let the roof drip onto those. Not only did she save a bundle on short-order cooks, but she finally found a use for the maple syrup ceiling fans which had fallen to the floor months before. If you'd like to hear other stupid stories like this, please kick in as little as a dollar a month to patreon.com slash Thank you.